Hi everyone, I'm Dave Bowman and in this section we'll talk about the use of tap water in your car's cooling system and the consequences it can have. Be cool with your vehicle. Knowing about your vehicle's cooling system. You know, the difference between using the proper mix of coolant or just using tap water is huge. The most obvious difference is that freezing point. Tap water's freezing point lies at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and coolant's freezing point is a lot lower. Now, if you live in a cold climate and use tap water inside your car's cooling system, you can cause damage because water freezes and expands, which can crack your engine block, radiator, and system components. Now, additionally, coolant has a much higher boiling point than the 212 degrees Fahrenheit, the water. Therefore, it can hold a lot more heat without boiling. This is very important because the coolant requires the best possible contact with the metal. Now, steam bubbles have less surface contact than the liquid and are less efficient at heat transfer. Moreover, coolant has the properties that perform important functions like corrosion prevention, excellent heat transfer, stability at high temperatures, compatibility with plastics and elastomers, low foaming and water pump lubrication. Tap water doesn't have all these properties, and it has its own bag of unwanted chemicals. So the best for your car and your wallet is to prevent failure of the cooling system components. And how? With VR12, the ultimate cooling system protection. For only a few dollars, you can protect every inch of your cooling system, lower engine temperatures, prevent rust, corrosion, oxidation, and electrolysis. Additionally, VR12 protects all metals, improves gas mileage, and is a 100% organic green product that protects the planet while you save money. You can buy this powerful product online at VR12.com. Be cool with your vehicle. Knowing about your vehicle's cooling system. Presented by VR12, the ultimate cooling system protection.